In today's lunch break, the author of Wandering Palette is back with a new paleo-friendly winter citrus salad she's sharing on her trail to health. Erica Schlick joins us now live from Los Angeles. Erica, you are the voice of reason in this time of holiday cookies and cakes and all kinds of sweets. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm here to show you a healthier way that you can still get your sweets in, but getting your sweets in the way of produce today. So I'm going to show you how to make a new persimmon and kale salad. And this has a maple citrus dressing. So you're still getting that touch of sweet, but you're adding in a lot of produce and eating a salad. So this is a much easier way to indulge in those sweet flavors without having to eat all the cookies. Right. It satisfies your sweet tooth, but you're help being healthy as well. And it kind of offsets because we know we're going to make mistakes <laughs> a lot of times <laughs> through the holiday. So let's Absolutely. get to the recipe. All right. Well, we're going to start with our dressing. So I've got some extra virgin olive oil here, and I'm going to go ahead and add in some maple syrup. And from here, we're going to add in some mandarin juice and I've got some mandarin zest as well and a little bit of brown cinnamon, some sea salt, and some fresh mint. So it's a very simple dressing. Um, we're just using a lot of fresh ingredients, but that maple syrup and the citrus and the mint just pairs perfectly, and it's gonna really bring our salad all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side here, and we are gonna assemble our salad. Now, the salad uses a bed of kale, and I've already got that prepared here. Now, to prepare the kale, I use the Dino Lacinto kale, and I remove the stems, and then I massage a little bit of lemon and olive oil into it, and that helps to break down the texture of the kale a little bit, makes it a little easier to digest. Also, I love it because it gives it a really nice kind of citrus and silky flavor on the kale instead of it being so kind of gritty and dry. Yeah, it makes and it more palatable because I think that's the one thing that makes people shy away from kale is, is that, that texture in your mouth. Absolutely, and it's a little bitter almost too, so this gives it a nice, just kind of silky, refreshing flavor and breaks down those fibers a little bit. Good tip. And I've got our persimmons. Now, you've probably seen these in the store and been like, what are these? What do I do with them? So they're actually a berry, but they almost look and feel more like a tomato. Um, so they're kind of an interesting fruit, but they're so delicious and so flavorful, and I love the bright, bright colors. So I go ahead and lay my sliced persimmons out on the salad and you can cut these down even more. I like to leave them kind of a circular kind of whole slice like this just because I think it looks so much prettier on the salad this way. It gives it a lot of bright color. I wanna show you how that's coming together here. And next we're gonna add in our blackberries. So I've gone ahead and added some all over the salad. You just wanna kind of place them on top of the kale. And if you can't find blackberries, you know, you can do this with other kinds of berries. Um, I think it would work well with even raspberries. Um, blackberries, I really, really love, and I like the black color that it gives it too. In LA, you can probably get different fruits, but we actually can get blackberries right now, more so than say strawberries. Okay, good. So you'll be able to get these. And then we've got some walnuts. So this is great because it gives it a nice crunch and also still has a little bit of that holiday flavor using some nuts on there. And last but not least, I like to top it with a little bit more fresh mint. And when using herbs, I always like to use fresh herbs. You just get so much more nutrients and vitamins for, for your immune system, and it just tastes so much better, and it smells delicious. So I wish you guys could smell this as I'm making it because it's like between the citrus and the maple and the mint. It just smells so good, and it still has that holiday flair, just a little healthier. Exactly. So that's it. Our salad comes together. Super easy, and you just toss the dressing on when you're ready to serve, sprinkle it on the top, and that's it. Comes together. Absolutely simple, delicious, beautiful perfect for a holiday gathering or even if you want to eat something healthy during the week before you indulge on your holiday treats. So Erica, when you make the dressing, do you make it in advance so that those flavors all come together and do you refrigerate it or do you make it right before you make the salad? Um, you can do either. I usually like to make it a little bit ahead of time. Um, you may want to refrigerate it just because of the maple syrup, but if you do, make sure to pull it out about 30 minutes before you serve it because sometimes the olive oil can harden a little bit if it gets too cold. So if you just let it sit out on your counter for a little bit, then you can toss it. Um, I like to toss it right before I eat it just so that, you know, the berries and the mint doesn't get too soggy on the dressing or on the salad itself. Um, but you can also make it right before and put it on and it'll be just as delicious as well. And it's so yummy. If we made extra, how long would it keep in the refrigerator? You know, I made this the other day and it was still good the next day. So, you know, if you have some leftovers, don't throw it away. Definitely hold on to it. And especially if you keep your dressing a little bit separate um, and just toss it on as you're ready to go, it should keep for at least a day or two. 
Okay, you do so many healthy <laughs> recipes for us. <laughs> is there anything, what would be your cheat then? Or maybe the thing that you replace uh, something that's a, a full cheat with, uh, you know, a, a treat for yourself? Absolutely. Uh, well, luckily, I'm really into paleo baking as well. So I have a lot of different treats on my website um, that are healthy, but they're still treats. So, um, you know, I've got a lot of great pies. I even have some holiday spritz cookies um, and different things like that that are all paleo. They don't use refined sugars and they don't use grains. So that allows you to have a little bit more of a cheat, um, not the regular things that I eat, but also, you know, not going too much to the dark side. <laughs> right. Wonderful. Some great tips. We'll check it out. Thanks, Erica. Absolutely, thank you. If you want more information, you can check out Instagram or thetrailtohealth.com. And we'll post the recipe for this yummy, sweet, and healthy salad, wgntv.com slash midday.